Here comes Stroll. Oh, did he just brush the wall or did that flag man like brave that in his face? I just realized I wore a McLaren top yesterday. Ricardo crashed. I'm wearing an Alfa Romeo top today. They're both going to go out in Q1. I'm going to wear a Ferrari top tomorrow. They're going to crash. And Russell up there. Okay, track Evo again, man. And Joe's going to go up. Snow's going to go up. This is interesting. People have to go out now at the end. This is going to get very messy. There's two minutes left. Oh, red flag. What? Oh, Sonoda's crash. Wow. Two minutes for everyone to do their laps. Oh, he's in the garage. Wait, he's not crashed. He's in the garage. The broadcast fucking sucks this weekend. Here we go. Oh, has he hit a marshal? What an absolutely trash red flag. The marshal pressed the red flag button himself manually because he thought it was a bad crash. Huh? They're all lining up. This is going to be a hectic end of Q1 now. Oh my God, look at this. Oh no, what is that Haas doing? That Haas is going to get them stuck. That Haas is actually going to get them stuck. Is that Haas fucking dumb? I swear that Haas just did that on purpose to hold everyone up. So Joe's out. That's tough. Again, Joe's getting so unlucky. And the Tifi is out in Q1. Eight tenths off his teammate. What a mess. I said I better lap, bro. Wow, that's really tough for Gasly. Joe's pissed. Unbelievable. I'd be pissed out as Joe, getting stuck behind those horses. Boom! Five tenths up. Wow. And Perez is purple to one. Oh my god, Perez and Signs are like fucking matching today. Don't crash. Don't crash. No crash, crash, please. 30 milliseconds between the top three right now. Oh, Q3 is going to be so good. Max is looking off. This is the second street circuit this year. We've seen Max not in the top three fight for, for, for pole. At least right now. This looks like Leclerc's uh, pole to choke at the moment. He's looking quick. The car is looking like it's the best as well. Magnussen. Not a great lap. He needs to go again. Uh, I think that's Magnussen's time. Magnussen should be out. Cardo improves, but doesn't beat Magnussen. Oh, God. No. That was an insane third sector from Ocon. What the fuck? Wow, I thought AlphaTauri was going to have a good weekend. One out in Q1, one out in Q2. That sucks. Clean, clean, clean. Two purples right now. 11-3. What? Wow, Leclerc two tenths up. Look how tight it is between Sainz, Perez, and Verstappen, though. Leclerc two tenths up. What? Don't crash, idiot. Don't crash. Oh, Max has just crashed behind. It was Perez. And it's going to red flag the session. Oh! And don't tell me someone else comes around. And Max has stopped. Oh, no. Wow. Well, I would love to see what the sector ones were of the Red Bull guys. And, and uh, 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 Alonso's crashed. Sign just came around the corner into him. That's dangerous. I think we can safely say that Claire was going to be on pole. This hasn't affected pole position, but this has definitely affected second, third, and fourth. But at least Perez, the one who crashed, fucked it up for his own team. It wasn't like Sainz crashed and fucked up the Red Bull laps. This is perfect position for Leclerc tomorrow, starting on pole with his teammate behind and his championship rival three positions down. That means Norris starts fifth, Russell sixth. Uh, Hamilton will not be happy with that. Two positions down on his teammate. It felt good. <laughs> he was happy with that. I mean, he was two tenths up in sector one on his own time, which was already two tenths up. Oh. <laughs> wow, that was a heavy shunt from Signs into into him. Oh, I wonder what happened there. And here comes Signs. Holy shit, that is a heavy hit. A few laps into the race. Wow, okay, so they're starting inters and there's going to be heavy, more rain coming as the race starts. This is going to be very, very interesting now. Wait, delayed start. Okay, so we're not starting in five minutes anymore. It looks like the start's been delayed again. Why though? Okay, I, I can understand for safety reasons, delaying the start and, and allowing teams to get their tires ready. But at the same time, shouldn't the teams be ready with this stuff before the Grand Prix starts? Isn't that just, isn't that how for, isn't that sport where that happens and you should adapt to it? Why are they allowing teams to adapt? Wait, they're putting wet tires on and it's not even wet tires. It's inters. I'm so confused. So the race is starting behind the safety car now. What? What is this? First off, I don't even think they should be delaying the start. Just chuck them on the inters or should have gone round on the dries. And then if you want to pit, you pit. I agree with Martin. This is a serious sport where serious decisions need to be made. I agree. Safety. But it's not raining. It was it was spitting. I feel like that's a part of Formula 1 to adapt to the weather. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of this right now. But surely they could have just started at, in the dry and then changed to the wet. That's what we all want in Formula 1. Look at that. The wet to dry in the tunnel. That's bad. No, it's not going to be a spa again. It's not raining enough. 
Okay, the safety car is off. Oh, 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 oh. The lot of wheel spin. See, now it's raining more and the track's already wet. They're going to have to do so many laps. Red flag has been thrown. Oh. By they fucked it. They fucked it. They literally done the same thing as Spa. Don't get me wrong. I, I know it's raining a lot and this is the right decision right now. But once you let it rain and there's already rain on the track, you, you have to, they would be kicking it up right now. What a guy. What a guy. What a guy. 80k likes. Man posted that 10 minutes ago. What the fuck? This there we go. The Whoa! There's no fucking way. The car just didn't turn. I wonder why it doesn't move. I wonder why, Latifi. Maybe because you've got bum cold tires in the wet. It's and Lance Stroll's in the berry as well. So you've got a right rear puncture. Puncture for Stroll. Ain't no way, boy. Ain't no way. Well, and he's off. The they're off. They're off. They're off. Who's going to be the first to crash other than those other two? Very squirrely. The guys behind are going to be very all over the shop. Wait, Perez and Verstappen on Inters. Has Stroll had another crash? Oh, they're pitting for Inters. Oh! Unsafe release from Aston. They're lucky there's no crash there. Who's thrown? Is it Red Bull or Ferrari? Oh, wait. No, they're on They're on wets. The graphics fucked. They're on wets. Wow, that was almost a... F oh, wait, they had to start the race on the wets. That makes sense. They had to start the race on the wets. It was the rule. The Red Bulls had way less traction. I thought that was because of the Inters. Oh, good so. It's funny. At the start of this year, I predicted that the Claire and Sainz would be spending way too much time battling each other, that Max would have an easy championship. But it seems like Max is getting more issues with Perez this season than, uh, than the Claire's having issues with Sainz. Oh! Oh, if I get drifted around, then. Guess he's gonna run. No way he goes down the inside here. No, no, he just wants to keep close, though. Oh, guess he might go for it down the inside here. He has. Yeah, hey, he's gonna get that done easy. Joe left it open. This is the problem for the red for the Red Bull and Ferrari guys is they could pit inters because it's it's now into weather, but they could lose out so many positions if a safety car comes out. Oh, Gazzy gonna get out the inside? No. Gazzy's so close. Oh, here he goes. And he gets it done. Ricardo not looking good on those wets. Oh, Signs thinking about going straight to dry in a minute. Enters a quick, man. Gazzy's catching Magnuson now. Here we go. He's going, oh, Enters. Don't know why you would go Enters that, uh, that late. May as well have done them three, five laps ago. Perez is boxing. Is he going inters or dries? He's going on to inters as well. All right. Now, this is where Ferrari need to make their decision. Do they commit to the dries? Do they go inters? If they don't commit to the dries, they're going to lose out. Perez could end up leading this race in a few laps time. I think if you're Ferrari, you've just got to go inters and play it safe. Even if it's not the right decision, you're on the same strategy as your rivals. Oh, he went for the move. Oh, they collided. Oh. Oh, Lewis might have wing damage. Oh, Leclerc's getting told to box now. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is Leclerc loses the win. This is where Leclerc loses the win. He's pit. What's he on? Enters. Verstappen boxing. So Verstappen's going to go Inters as well, I assume. Sainz could win the race here if he if he pulls out his big pee, -pee for the for the dries. Perez is now leading. Perez has led. Has jumped. Leclerc. Wow. The Inters was huge. Sainz needs to stay out now. Just commit to the dries. Commit to the dries. Wow, this is what I was talking about with the pit stops. It's very important to get it right. And Ferrari didn't react. They, they just... <sighs> You either react straight away or you commit to your strategy. Why half ass it? Why wait two laps? Oh, man. Why did Ferrari always do this, man? Albon on hards. What the fuck? Oh, Lewis's wing is flapping about. Sainz is now going to box for dries. Sainz is going to be leading this Grand Prix after dry pit, after the dry pit comes in. So the Claire has lost the lead to Sainz, but he's now playing for the win. Oh, no, that's Pierre. That's Sainz in. Oh, no, the double sacked. The Claire doesn't have Sainz. Oh, he does. He does. He does. Oh, my God. What a double sack. Why is that man holding up the signs? Calm down, calm down. It's fine, darling. It's fine. The Red Bulls still have to pit. Paris has come in. Is this undercut going to do anything, though? Is Leclerc going to be in third or is he going to be in second? Verstappen, they're double stopping. Paris, good stop. What's Verstappen's pit stop going to look like? Good stop from Verstappen ahead of signs. But signs is going to jump Verstappen. His Leclerc literally dropped to fourth. No way. This broadcast is wank. Where is the clear? Max Verstappen ahead 
bit of Charles Leclerc. There's no fucking way Ferrari just threw that for Leclerc. Like, big, big props to Sainz. I don't care that Leclerc lost the place to Sainz at all. That was really smart from Sainz, telling the team what strategy he wanted to be on. It doesn't make sense. Why do you do it two laps after Perez had already pit? It doesn't make sense. It's a lose-lose. Oh, oh, oh. There's still a chance at rain later as well. Sainz is on Perez. He's got to go for air. Go, Sainz. Oh, no. Oh, what a save. What a save. Holy fuck. What a save. Holy shit. He crossed the line. Oh, what's him get a pen now for that? That's a bit harsh. That's a bit harsh. I'm not going to lie. Even as a Leclerc fan, I, I don't think Max should get a pen for that. All right, Leclerc, come on. You're going to get past Verstappen now. Oh, this Grand Prix has gotten fucking good. Oh, my Lord. This is a prime example of even as a Leclerc fan, I'm, I'm heartbroken, but you can't not enjoy the entertainment that's in front of you right now. Wait, K-Mag's out? No, I had him on my team. Oh. oh my god. That was a good save. That was his chance to get past as well. Oh, Alwyn's tire. Oh, puncture. What's the yellow flag for? Oh! What the fuck? Oh, wait. That's one Haas. I thought two Haas's crashed. Oh, no. I thought that was two Haas's crashed into each other. His whole rear's fallen off. I think this is a red flag. That car has fallen to bits. Okay, he's okay. He's okay. What the fuck? How did that happen? So he's lost it. Oh, okay. Bro, it fell to bits on the, on the Armco barrier. And once again, Schumacher undelivering, making a mistake, and then costing another crash for Haas. Safety car is now fully out. No red flag for that. I don't know how that's not a safety car. I don't know how that's not a red flag. This has to be a red flag because cars in two pieces and they have to fix the barrier. Even You've got to think about the safety of the marshals here. For them to clip the, the, the bits onto the car to pick it up, they have to go onto the track. If the car loses it in the wet conditions, a marshal get, it gets hit. Look, there's marshals on track with cars coming around. <laughs> I don't care how slow they're going. I, I, I you've, we just seen Latifi go off, right? In slow conditions. Like, I, you can't trust it, man. Sorry, I, I just want to get this straight. They didn't start the race in the dry because they were concerned about some wet, but they'll let marshals out on track with cars going around. Fair enough. Oh, I'll be honest. Great job to the Monaco crew for cleaning that up so quickly. I guess we didn't need a red flag, but red flag. Now, now, now. Holy brain dead! But we knew the barrier was broken 10 minutes ago before the marshals put their life on the line. I, 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 I agree with this decision. I agree with this decision. But couldn't you decide if the barrier was broken 10 minutes ago? What the fuck? So everyone's going to go mediums now, right? Because the race only has a, a time window. Everyone's going to swap to mediums, I assume. That He's pissed. Again. Someone just needs to go, please. Uh, hire me. Hire me to calm the clay down. Someone just needs to go up to the clay and be like, okay, dude, it's, it's in the past. Focus, all right? You can do this, my man. Leclerc's gonna go monkey mode. Leclerc's gonna go monkey mode. I'm calling it. He's gonna dive Verstappen, take out Verstappen, and Russell's gonna be on the podium. It's it's Paris is fucking leading! How? No, I know how, but Ferrari should have never let that happen. Boy, you readjust those nuts. Yeah, get that get that sack. Yeah, get that right. Alright, mediums on the Red Bull. Oh! What are you doing? What are you doing? Put the mediums on! Why has no one else gone mediums? Am I, are we, are we the only ones with brains? Have Red Bull thrown or there's only Red Bull, Sonoda, Joe. Oh no, it's everyone. Oh no, it's everyone. It's Russell, it's Joe, it's Sonoda, it's Elbon. It's the two Red Bulls. I'm, I'm praying, I'm praying that this swings back in Ferrari's favor, but I don't know if the f hards make sense with only 30 laps to go. Here we go, we're going again. And he's off, oh, oh very slow. Easily surviving the oh, 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 holy shit. I thought he hit a bird. I thought he hit a bird. I was looking at the timing sheets and I saw a bird fly past and then a, oh, oh, oh. I thought a bird got fucking hurt. Alonso, wait, Alonso's just lost 15 seconds on Norris. No wonder Lewis was complaining. Okay, well, I'm getting hope from you. Some of you guys in chat and from Martin, you guys are giving me hope that the hards are the right play. Ah, Alonso's backing Hamilton up for Ocon. Alonso's just got such big kahunas. Oh my lord. Oh, yeah, true. Ocon has a five cent penalty. What's the fucking point? Rain at the last five laps. Leclerc pits at the right time. Gets a fucking W. Woo! 
Man, I'm, I'm devastated as a Leclerc fan, but I'm so engrossed in this Grand Prix because I still don't know who's going to win with 18 minutes to go. Joe got the move done on... So oh! Oh, okay, so that's how he got past Shinoda. He spun and almost lost it. Oh, my God. That would have been a good safety car. That would have been a good one. Oh, I'm on retiring. He be, he, yo, Latifi beat his team out again. Woo! Oh, Leclerc's catching Verstappen now as well. Leclerc and Sainz putting in good laps. I wonder if that lockup is affecting Perez. Oh, look at the big grain. Esteban, we have a five-second time penalty. He's only just finding out about his thing now? Perez's pace has hella dropped. Oh, we've got traffic as well coming up. He's close. He is close. He's going to have good traction out of these corners. 11 minutes of this? I'm getting hopeful again. We're coming to traffic and they're literally in a... Oh my lord. Oh, he's so close. He's so close. Oh, yellow flag sector one. Who's that? Sonoda's crash. No, 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 no. He's gone deep. Okay, he's gone deep. He hasn't crashed. Thank God. Oh, he's locked up. Don't throw it. Verstappen's on fucking sides now. Oh, no. Some some pussy somewhere else on the track is going to crash now and ruin this. Yep. I just fucking called it. Who is it? Okay, he's not crashed. He's just gone wide. Woo. Can you imagine some pussy ruined this right now? Come on! At least Claire's finishing a Monaco Grand Prix for the first time. Wait, Norris 3.2 behind Russell. I don't think signs can do anything. I think it's I think it's done. I'm fucking devastated as a Leclerc fan, but my lord. What a Grand Prix. Good racing, good drama, good everything. Awful strategy from Ferrari. Well done. Big win for Perez. P2 for sides. P3 for Verstappen and. P4 for the Claire. Cut to Norris. Cut to Norris. And Norris was not able to do it. Very close. Very close. Wow. Wow. That brings Perez in contention of the championship now. This will hopefully fuel the Claire's fire even more, but... Somewhere there, there was a Mexico flag. <laughs> what, a, what a good Grand Prix, man. Such a good Grand Prix. But it's hard. It's hard to... Oh, it's hard. It is hard to think how that fanned out. Oh, 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 whoa. Holy fuck. Low iron, dude. Iron deficiency. Last week, I said Perez is not in the championship fight. I didn't really think about that before I said it. And he's definitely in the fight now. And this also shows that Signs are still in it, you know? Couple good weekends, and he's back in it as well. Ah, oh, he's so happy.